My name is Augustus, and welcome to Poetry by Augustus. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm not a, um, an artist. Uh, this is simply a disguise. I um, created this, this uh, four by eight uh, piece of plywood with lots of colors, simply to serve as a backdrop for this poem that I'd like to recite. About uh, oh, 30 years ago, I did take some art classes, but I was more fascinated with, with the colors that artists get to use. Growing up, we're, we're familiar with greens and reds and blues, but artists get to use colors with fascinating names like uh, yellow ochre, um, crimson, vermilion. Um, so a poem began to formulate in my mind back then, and recently I, I revised it and uh, thought I'd share it with you today. Uh, the poem can also serve as a metaphor for those of us that perhaps at one time in our lives were really down in a rut, uh, uh, nothing we do seems right, and then all of a sudden we come up with an idea, that idea uh, comes into fruition. We achieve a certain amount of success uh, because of our enthusiasm and perhaps some no notoriety as, as well. The poem is entitled Color Master. Colors in a wasteland, a palette rainbows mock, barren cracked riverbeds, rivulets of burnt sand, and brown rot. There on fate's cruelest easel, flawed prisms in shadows play, both pride dry with blurred prescience, scarred, scared amidst delay, bold to blend, cold to men, suffering life's artistic end. Would I wore the color master, I'd tear down in rip-drawn alabaster, scatter parchments, rubble the rest, release the colors, follow their quest, circle the cerulean chariot round Carmine's arena, with slashing strokes of sanguine magical patina, brushed vermilion, warmed alizarin, crimson gray, greeny, to give again. And I, mastered by color, framed in velvet indigo, live again, dream again. Thank you so much for watching.